that helps the channel the most. Fatty was popping. How you fellas doing? Uh, Hello, good. 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 Well, no now you're famous. You don't talk with the, the peasants like us, but uh, I'm glad to see you back here. Nonsense, <laughs> man. Happy to see y'all boys, man. I salute to y'all. Appreciate y'all. Um, I, I think we we are just appeasing like this leader award. It got completely out of control. We are just using this shit to appease men, ego, and women that want, don't want to take responsibility. Men that not are not leading relationships, and they just look like they are leaders. And women that want, don't want to take accountability, so they can hide under that uh, word leader is not my fault, is the fault of the guy. I truly believe that respectfully, like we need to put accountability for real in both parties i think there's a lot of cosplaying about splitting the, the the guilt we're not talking like a we are actually not getting to uh what actually is going on and I'm not, i didn't take notes but i think you were kind of double talking through because first you said these women are hiding their body count meaning that they are not presenting themselves as the people that they truly are then you said these men should know and avoid these women how can avoid something that is covert. How can avoid the lion that is dressed like a gazelle? We are not talking about men approaching strippers. We're not talking about men approaching OnlyFans models. We're not talking about men approaching women that dress scandally clad. We're talking about teachers. We're talking about caregivers. We're talking about nurses. We're talking about people that present themselves as regular people, but at the end of the day, they are so close with a bad woman and doing a lot of O activities, even though they might not be considered O's, that we can pick and choose who is the good woman and who is the bad woman. And my question for you would be this real, right? It's like a two-part question. Do you think it takes time for a man to know how to lead? Do you think most 21-year-old men know exactly what to do with the woman that's in front of them? Hell no. It takes kind of, like, do you agree that it takes like a decade? For a man to become a man, like a decade, right? What yeah, are, I don't know about a about a decade, but twenty one is is is, is kind of young. Let's go with twenty eight. Do you think there's a fair number? Out okay. of college for three years, on a workforce for three four years, do you think is a fair number? Twenty eight. Yeah, that, that has, I mean, I guess so. But I mean, it, again, it depends on the, the man's maturity level. Some men let's go with the average man. Oh. Yes, let's go with the average man. Like, so the, the, the same way I believe that women only snapped out of their bush at the 30, I think men take 15 years to make. I think usually men reach their, like, the, you know, Chris Paul comes in the NBA dunking on everybody, running fast as fuck. And then now he knows the game. Everything is slow. So he knows where to go. He doesn't know what, no need to run fast. Doesn't need to get like, I think it takes a lot of time for men to become actually the leader that you guys are talking about. So the question to me, like the question I'm going to ask, how can you lead the, how can, uh, if it takes 10 years, let's go with 10 years from 18 to 28 to become the man that this woman wants. How can we control what these women are doing from 16 to the age that we actually get them a marry them? Because the average age of marriage is 29. And not because men are choosing so, it's because women started to delay marriage over and over and over and over again. And now it's on a part of their life where I don't want to be on the streets anymore. I want some security. How can we not control, but how can we become leaders and handle this woman in on an honorable way, on a righteous way? when they've been in the streets for 10 years before they actually met us and tried to marry us. How can we do that? See, again, I don't, I don't, I don't necessarily feel like you should, I mean, that, that you have to wait until you're 28 to, to date a woman. When, when I'm talking about leadership skills, just like we talked about earlier, you can get, you can have an entry level job at 22. Yes. 23. But, but, but again, when we talking about leadership, I'm talking more to resume. When I look at your resume, do I see a bunch of incompletes on it? Or do I see some shit that you finished? So again, I was I was a leader young shit. I was forced to be you, you see what I'm saying? So it, it, it is possible. But but again, you, you shouldn't even really be focused on women that early. You should be focusing on establish some type of structure, some type of infrastructure for her to come into. But I, I had all of that by 24, 23. So again, it's, it's just about like, are you that dead set on being a leader or do you want to just be out here fucking hoes? And, and if we're going to be all the way frank here, a lot of men are much more concerned with being out here fucking hoes than trying to find a wife at a very young age. So again, we we got to speak to mindset. There there are different types of, 
you know, uh, uh, males. There but, are but men who are out here trying to trying to solidify legacy as early as possible, and then there are niggas who are out here just trying to have fun. But so again, that's, I, that's I can't the put the same expectation on somebody that's trying to have fun in comparison to somebody that's trying to build a legacy. Because if you, you was trying to do that, then you would be able to set that infrastructure up way earlier than 28 years old. But but you made it about yourself. You are an outlier. By far. You know that you are. We have this conversation before. Men don't come. Men come in different sizes. We need to talk for the average man. Like there's a woman out there that was ready to be a mother and a great wife at 21. She's not the reality of what we actually facing. Most women are not ready at 21, at 25. It takes a little bit of time for them to actually come out from the clouds and actually who they are. So if you're talking about majorities, and like you said something that was very interesting, you said most of these men don't even have experience. That's why they can detect a woman. I was the same way when I was young. I thought a woman could do nothing wrong. It took me woman after woman after woman to see, God damn it, they're just like this. They're like fucking like us. They're like going around. They are like having fun like us. So how can you say a man needs to get experience to know how to deal with woman and then tell us to actually care for woman when we are young, when we didn't have experience with woman? Do you want us to be around and to actually deal with enough woman? Like probably you did to the point where you get enough experience to be ready for the woman that you need to love and take care of or do you need this to focus on our purpose and don't mess with woman because we need to do this and this and that and now you get to 25 in experience with a woman that probably can run laps over you because she got approached by a thousand men so now is a uh uh the immovable object literally meeting a guy that is like looking at her like okay i'm going to take care of this woman but i have no experience i can see what our body count is i don't know nothing about her past how can a man actually do that like how can he do that without no experience either we are on the streets and you get experience and now you are ready for the woman or you go with a knife for a gunfight like how can a man actually not be a hoe and be ready you don't have to be a hoe. Most people gonna had at least three or four relationships by the time that they're 25 years old. That would be four women, right? So, so again, we 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 speak about 25 as if that's like 19 or something. Especially if you don't been in college, just like me and Hunt was talking about earlier. Most dudes' freshman year is going is is going to knock down more than that just in freshman year alone. But he, but I'm not saying that that's valuable experience. But I'm just speaking to that point of like 20, being 25 and you have no experience. I don't, I don't feel like that's 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 most men's case, if we're going to be real. I think by that age, most men has, has had multiple relationships and you have interacted with multiple women. So, again, if you are doing what you're supposed to be doing as far as taking care of yourself and getting yourself situated, by that point, you should at least be thinking about it. Now, I'm not saying that you should, oh, you're 100% ready to be a husband at 25. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that a lot of guys get to that age and – Again, you have been prioritizing women so much to where you hadn't even set up infrastructure for a woman to walk into. You, you, you it's a lot of niggas that's 24, 25 that done went to school for something that they're not even working in the field in. Or, or you, you, done, you done got a degree that's meaningless. Now you're a substitute teacher. You're working at a warehouse or some shit. And you, you, got, a, you got a roommate or two roommates at 25 years old and shit like that. But then come on these platforms and say, hey, these women should submit to me. What is she submitting to? Because again, you you wasn't concerned with setting up infrastructure with her to walk into. You was concerned with trying to have fun or trying to go out there and have sex. But again, if you was if you was building the infrastructure that you needed to build and becoming the man that you needed to become, it's not that hard to find a woman who's willing to submit. That shouldn't even be a conversation if you are the man that you should be at that age. But, but for some reason, it's not it's not as much urgency in men. To become the man that they need to be by that age 25 26 because i feel like that's plenty of time if you gotta you shouldn't have to wait till you 28 to be self-sufficient and be you done accomplish some shit and be making somewhat decent money enough to be able to lead a relationship that's not that far-fetched people graduate college at 21 22. it took you six years to, to become the man that you needed to be you you, you are keep talking about outliers most men are not running through women in college you were amp was guys on sororities guys on the football team the average man is not 
going on freshman year and all the women like, there's a lie like we know the numbers so, like we talk about 10 people with them surprised about the number of uh men like oh is that too much no most men are not fucking like that and the the, the second part is listen very carefully most men and woman don't even have money to leave their parents house until they're 30. this is a new economy you are the same age as me most men are not self-sufficient until they are 30. most women are not self-sufficient until they are 30. a man that has a structure to take care of a woman at 25 is an extreme outlier is a person that actually is a is a uh 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 not a, is a not late bloomer but he's a prodigy he's somebody that actually got the head of the curve because if you're looking about reality most men and women, even if they are together, only get their shit figured out probably on their 30s. How can a man, and let me ask you this in the last question, you can pass to Ricky. How can a 25 year old man that graduated college and the average wage of graduation of college is 24, he's not 21. How can the average man that graduated college is one year in the workforce as no time too mature because he's been to school, 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 school. It's actually their real life only starts at that age. How can that man have a structure to take care of a woman that does probably doesn't have nothing to? Why can't we be, hey, I don't know where I'm going, but I'm trying. I love you. I care for you. You don't know where you're going, but you're trying. I love, I care for you. Let us be together. Why does a man has to be an, a, 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 an outlier and be way above the pack? to get comp to get a, a a compromise and to get a, a woman that is willing to follow him when that was not what our parents was doing that was not what our grandparents are doing it's both poor people get together and move along why are we asking men to be above and beyond just to get the same type of woman or even worse than our parents and our grandparents actually got uh, again in the early conversation me and Hank was having and he was talking about this this end goal and stuff like that i said clearly that a man does not have to breach that end goal before he meets the woman the man has to have shown actionable steps and actionable completion and route to that and then if a woman is going to gamble on potential a potential fine if you find a woman that's willing to work with you at that point fine but again nowhere did i say that a man has to be fully reaching his capability at the age of 25. no you just have to have shown actionable steps of completing some shit. So again, y'all y'all coming up here with these talking points and coming up here not not really listening to what I'm saying when I'm when I when I'm explaining this shit. And again, every man is not going to college either. It's some dudes who didn't hit the workforce at 18, who have been working since since they was 18 years old all the way up to 24, 25 years old, six, seven years of work experience. They might got a cert doing a uh, refinery work or a fucking carpentry somewhere or whatever the case may be and has established a, a a decent enough comfortable enough living to where if a woman was to come into the fold that he would be able to take care of his family doing that so again we get to speaking about things but in in in, in real life that shit is not that hard of a situation to come into no way did i say that a man got to be wealthy and rich by 25 or completed his mission or his goal of where he's trying to get to by 25. And, what and, 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 and hold on, Maybe. something else you said about people living in their house until they 30. Yes, there's no, no, no. Age. no, no. Yes. Hell no. No, I, I don't, I, I don't, I can't name a man that I know that lives in this house until he's 30. Where you from again? I'm from Portugal, Lisbon. Okay, so 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 that right there speaks to the speaks to the disconnect. It's irrelevant. Because men, most men are not living with their parents until they're 30 years old, especially in, mm-hmm. in the black community. That's so the numbers happening. are wrong. So, so the numbers of people like literally, there's a crisis about men and women complaining that they get out of their house because when their parents were younger, they will get house for fifty thousand dollars or their grandparents, and now they have no idea how to get an amount of money to actually get outside of the house. My You're question, talking about a house? When it, a when, house? No, 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 no. Okay, hold on. So let, let, let me explain to you the trajectory of what happens here. I don't, I don't know what happened in Portugal or whatever, but that's not saying that at 18, you got to be able to afford a house. No, that that's not how that goes. You leave your parents' crib, you get your little apartment, your little car, and you figure it out from there. But nowhere did I say that you got to be able to afford a whole house and take care of a family. And, and again, 
I, shit, we, we got to take a poll about this. I ha, I know no man that, that I've ever met that's lived in his parents' house until he was thirty. That is not common. I, I, maybe it may be common in Portugal, but here in um, in the black community, hell no. There's an anecdotal. You're saying I don't know no man is irrelevant because maybe our circle is above and beyond whatever is happening actually, actually is going on. And, and can you? Y'all know, know man, like, hold, hold, hold on, hold on. Do 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 any of y'all know men who lived in their parents' house in, in, until they was thirty? I don't. I had an uncle that I had an uncle that did it past that. Thirty years old. Past that. Pimp. No. Oh, so okay. So everybody. So, no, it's, it's, it's totally fair. When you said twenty-five. And you you don't have to be rich, right? You said, what does a man as like tangibles? What does a man has to have at twenty five, so we can actually be ready to take care of a woman? That's a that's a loaded question, bro. It it, it depends on where you live. It depends on your your cost of living. It depends on what you desire your lifestyle to be. It depends on you finding a woman that's comfortable with that lifestyle. You got certain dudes who twenty five making seventy thousand dollars a year, and that's that's happily taking care of their family. Sixty thousand dollars a year. That's what entry level accountant, oil and gas entry level accountant, right out of college, you making sixty sixty five? Yeah, so no, no, you, no. Sure, that's not accurate. Are you dating a huh? It's not accurate. That's Bro. gonna be a major outlier. Again, you, you can go to um, uh, I think it's Bureau Bureau of Labor and Statistics, and the average salary of a, a black man from twenty to like twenty five is maybe thirty thousand dollars. So that's an extreme yeah. outlier. No, no, no. So, so again, I, I, I spoke specifically about uh, like an oil and gas accountant or somebody like yep, that. Again, that. I'm not saying that every person is making 50, 60 thousand right out of school. What I'm saying is, is that that's completely feasible. That is completely possible. I, I, I went to college and graduated in accounting. I came out yep. making fifty thousand dollars, fifty five thousand dollars at entry level. I got you. But hold on. But then, like you, you can't say it's completely feasible when you just admit it to the fact that it's extremely rare. You can't have it both ways. So it's a very, very small percentage. Wait, what? Of, um, what I did I say make it? Again, just like that 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 point that I was saying, again, those salaries, a lot of them are taken as a United States like average or whatever the case may be. But cost of living is not the same everywhere. So let's say that if I come out making 50000 and that's the average in, in Houston, which is why I told him I can't give a number because it depends on where you live. But so let's say 50000 or whatever the case may be is what a, a oil and gas accountant is making in Houston oil and gas because that's the like premier industry out here. Let's just say that that is a decent amount of, of living, especially if you got a woman who's who on her grind too, which is another thing I said she, she should be making entry level seventy thousand a year. So so again, it, it 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 just depends on where you live, which is why which is why I clarified that. But seventy thousand dollars as a man in Houston is more than enough for you to live comfortable here. So, so when you say, okay, how much should he be making? What position should he have? This, that, and the third, that, that's a loaded question. You can't really answer that directly. It kind of depends on where we are. But that's an anecdotal again. Like you go between generalities and me, generalities and mo like we have to actually talk about most, most men. It's imp like, it's, it's not, it's not realistic. Most men at 25 are not getting 70, $75,000 at all. They're not. So. If that's the metric for Houston, should all the men that are earning 53,000 and are really good guys with really good background and had two parents, should they actually get the same respect than the man that has shit figured out and is head of the pack and is getting those 75 or more? Should, should he get the same respect? That's not for me to judge. That's on the woman that he chooses to, to date or to, to deal with again. It's about finding a woman who's comfortable with the lifestyle that you can provide, which is what I feel like a lot of men drop the ball in. If you out here making fifty thousand dollars, but you targeting women who would be at James Harden's private party after the basketball game, or you targeting women who are trying to get a Drake invite backstage after a show, you will be sadly disappointed. You will not be able to capture that woman. 
You what are, are you again. looking for? What are you, you are doing? It. You literally did it again. How many women go to James Ar Arden party or getting invited by Drake? There's a very small, small, small percentage. Wait, 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 about... wait, 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 wait. How? No, no, because because you missed the point. How many men are targeting those type of women? Trill. If uh, no, no, teacher, no, no, no. Answer the question. I, I, I don't the know. Question. I don't know when, the when number. I... Talking about men. Wait, wait, wait. When we get to talking about men and the type of women that they desire, most men desire that type of woman. They, that's they, the desi problem. they desire to fuck them. They don't desire to cuff them. And Trill, you've been around. They before you got married, one, one second, Trill. Just because, one second. Did you fuck woman before you met your wife that were in wife material, but they were attractive enough for you to put your dick inside of them? Did you do it? No. So you didn't do it? No. All the women that you had sex with were respectful women that you saw a uh, uh, possibility of marriage. Yes. All of them. Yes. Hey, maybe I'm wrong. I thought that you were the 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 football star, the guy that gets all the women and all that. Right. Maybe your body on the street. Right, right, right. Meaning that I have my choice of women who I could have sex with. No. Yes, but that is the thing, and this is why we need to talk about body count a lot, right? Is your body count less than 10, Trill? What difference does that make? No, no, it, it, no, this is important. This is actually very important for the conversation's sake. Is your body count less than 10? No. Is your body count less than 30? Bro, what difference does this make? Let, let's, be, let's be man, let's answer straight questions. Is your body count less than 30? Yeah. So, okay. So let's go with that, right? Let's go with 15. You are telling me that the 15, like, and you got married very young, or not married, but you got with your woman very young. You are telling me that all the women that you actually engage with were women that you saw, you know what? These 15 women that I had sex with, they all were wifey material, and I always wanted something more with them. I just didn't do it. Is that what you're saying? Yes. And and, and again, if, we, if we're talking about the, the the star or the litness that I am, then we would mm -hmm. have to take that number and divide that by the possibility yes. of women that I could have had. And when you do that, it becomes way less shocking of a of a of a concept that I could find less than 30 women who are capable of being wife material when it's hundreds, if not thousands of women throwing it at me. You, you yes. see what I'm saying? Yes, and this is why I am keep talking and I'm going to accept what you, you said. I'm not going to even, like, try to fight it. Mm -hmm. But it's astonishing to me that the 24-year-old, the 23-year-old, whatever the age you are, always engage with women that were ready for relationships, especially at that age, knowing that most of these women are not thinking about marriage at all by that age. So if you found 10 women that were marriage material, that were marriage-minded, that were engaging in you on a long-term committee at 21, 22, 19, 18, 23. I think with all the respect, sir, that either you are an extreme outlier, right? Or you are not telling the truth because with all the respect, women that are fucking around at that age are not looking for marriage. They are delaying and delaying and delaying. And that's why the average age of marriage is 29, is not 23. So again you are you are moving the goalpost yet again first you ask the women that you dated would you have minded being with those women long term and things of that nature yes and i said sure and then you said on the back end of that so i guess kind of slam the hammer home were those women ready for marriage at that age and then i say no and you say aha got you i wasn't ready for marriage at that age I was young. So again, it's it's a difference. Just like I said, they weren't finished products. You're saying, were these women ready for marriage? No, they were not finished products. I wasn't a finished product, but I had accomplished some shit up until that point that would that would cater to my potential of being a fit of reaching my finished product one day which echoes what i said earlier in this same podcast as a man you do not have to be a finished product yeah, Uncle Rick, you are running into women you just got to be accomplished and have take action have actionable steps and check boxes checked off when you meet somebody so again so never... how how is that an aha moment when you shift the goalpost to try to slam the ammo. No, it is, 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 and Rick, you can go ahead. It is because it's, in my opinion, 
unbelievable that you never fucked the hoe. Unbelievable. Like that makes in, in a lot my, of sense coming from you. That makes a lot of sense. No, no, no. It's not coming from me. It's unbelievable well, in my opinion. Coming from man. No, 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 it's about I, me. Was no, it? no. Is is I'll I'll repeat it again. Especially when you said men have to. These men don't even have experience. Meaning that you probably had experience, right? Remember that part of the conversation when you said these men don't even know how to vet women because they don't have experience, which right. implies that you have experience. The fact that you, as an experienced man, never met a woman that you were fucking or dealing with her, you're like, oh my god, this, love, this girl is kind of oh. The fact that you never went through that, in my opinion. It's a little bit telling, but I'm going to. Perfect. <laughs> but see again, when we get to talking about experience, I think we talk.